is David and today I want to show you the new smart car configurator. We have been working on the smart car configurator for years now, um, preparing all the data and all the models for the configurator and the new smart has been released just at the end of the year. In 2019, if you want to check it out yourself, go to smart.com right up here in the menu, go to configure now and choose one of the three models. So let's take the smart for two. In this case, and while this is loading for a few seconds, let me switch to the Maya viewport to show you the model itself. And this is what we deliver. You immediately notice the high resolution for this fender right here. Um, the reason is we have um, a workflow that perfectly recreates the reflection behavior just as the CAD data. The only limitation, of course, is the tessellation and the resolution of the mesh itself. It's the very unforgiving Maya viewport and you see if we just switch to uh, subdivision and uh, subdivide the surface the reflection looks perfect so it's just depending on the resolution of the mesh and um, because we have a higher resolution right here we have less issues in this case. So all the parts really recreate the beautiful CAD reflection and this is one key component to uh, the quality we can deliver. On the other hand, we have beautifully um, modeled meshes with a great edge flow. If you want to delete some edges for any reason, um, you just simply can select the edges and just delete them and it still works. This wouldn't be possible with uh, crunched and um, just reduced data if you use CAD data and um, tessellated in a lower resolution. Also, this wouldn't be possible and uh, to our experience, we put a lot of work into research and developing our processes and tools and this is the really the best result you can get. Also, we deliver completely animated data. So right now, let me switch to the car configurator, which um, looks like this when it fires up. And first, let me take a more um, beautiful uh, configuration. Um, this is already looking really nice with this rim. And so now let's just use a little bit brighter color. Yes, that's what I like. And now switch to the environment and you can see they did a beautiful job insinating our data. And let's open the door. As promised, switch to the interior. Oh, let me go to full screen. It looks just better. And you can see um, the different parts Everything is modeled really with a lot of care for detail. So while we're here, let me switch back to Maya and go right inside. For example, um, all these little details are modeled meshes, so you don't have to use a texture. For some um, purposes, textures are uh, the way to go, but you don't want too, much, uh, too many textures, also not uh, too high resolution of the textures in your model so you get a lot of performance. Even on older mobile devices this is running really smoothly. Um, we deliver textures for every single part like usually a normal map and an occlusion map. Um, if there needs to be a color map like here of course this as well. But as I said um, all the different uh, little icons are very good um, if you don't use the texture, if you just model them, um, you get a lot of, uh, you get a great result. It's not uh, filtered in some way. It's really sharp and it's just doing the purpose. Also, you can illuminate the buttons if you want to. So this is the way to go. Another nice thing are those seams down here. So let me go right there and let me hide the wireframe and you can see this is a tiled texture tied over and over again. Um, same for the um, for the mats in the uh, foot compartment. Um, I'm missing the word right here. <laughs> for the Fußmatten im Fußraum, uh, it would be in German. Uh, same goes for the stamp on the windows. Also same technique. So all in all, this is 375,000 uh, triangles. And um, yeah, that's a beautiful result. We also have um, this, uh, the cap for the charge plug. And you can see it's modeled just like the CAD data. 
we have the heating in the um, rear window, also a model. So that's one key to our quality. The other key, as I told you, is the reflection. And one tip, if you're a Maya user, how to get this uh, reflection working in the viewport. Let me show you. We just uh, create a new blend material, for example, and now let's use environment textures and this environment ball. Let's put that into the reflected color. And for this environment ball, because I'm working with a Z axis as up axis, let's check eye space so the reflection is in the correct direction. And now if I put my texture in here, you can see this is working perfectly and I still can tweak uh, different properties of the material, but the reflection is working. You can also dim it. Um, what you can't use in the viewport would be some kind of Fresnel effect. Um, also, we just use it to check and it's just to illustrate the purpose. Um, the shader right here is using um, a little Fresnel effect uh, for itself because it's encoded in the shader. In the Maya viewport this is not possible, but if you have ever asked yourself how to do this, the environment ball with a um, texture put in there is the key to get some very good reflection in the Maya viewport. Now let's go back to the car configurator, go back to the interior again because it's just so super nice to look at this online. I can also look at it on my cell phone. Um, I encourage you to visit the configurator, play around for yourself, um, look at some for example, this right here, the digital radio, you get another perspective. And let's go back to the exterior. And uh, that's about it. There's a lot more, like I could show you thousands of texture maps that have been baked and meshes over and over again. Um, but the message I want to get to you is um, all the detail we care for. For example, let me go to this area right here. Um, we model every part you need to see and for the parts you don't need to see we use uh, just a black box um, to close the geometry so you can't look through all the holes. Um, the very challenging part is to make black boxes for first of all for animation so this is working and another thing is you need uh, the back boxes to work in every different configuration so not all the steering wheels are the same not all the seats are the same um, the lights, uh, there are two different kinds of lights for all the different models. You have a lot of different rims and uh, so on and so on. So um, for every different configuration uh, you need the black boxes to work. So where to put them, how to use them and all that together gives you this beautiful mesh and you can use it in this beautiful way. Also, if you want to put this to Unreal, to Unity, to some real-time engines, absolutely no problem. High performance, uh, really nice low poly data. And this is not only um, useful for cars, of course, you can use this for any kind of product. Um, especially this uh, kind of technical modeling with the need for exact reflections and it just needs to look at the CAD data. This is one. Um, workflow we have developed and we are really proud of it but another thing if you want some uh, like organic modeling also no problem we have put years into research um, especially for this um, we deliver the shaders completely ready um, so you can adjust the properties like reflection environment color and so on um, and if you have any questions about this, uh, let us know. I don't want to um, get too much into technical detail. Um, uh, we like to hear your thoughts about it. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.